But how close is Korea to launching its own uh, central bank digital currency? Yeah, so they, I mean, they've, uh, as you alluded to earlier, they've gone public to announce that they're going to start uh, a proof of concept, meaning that there's uh, experimentation that's already started between uh, our team as well as the, the team there at the Central Bank of Korea. Um, I think, you know, from my, from my understanding and my perspective, I don't think they're looking to rush this process. I think they'll be closely watching, as you mentioned before, uh, the announcement from the PBOC uh, this year for their central bank digital currency. Um, but it's quite obvious that with that em imminent announcement coming out from China, that central banks around the world, I think particularly the G7 central banks, they'll start moving a lot faster um, or they'll be forced to move a lot faster with their digital plans. Yeah, David, uh, Clayton is what you call a hybrid chain. You've got the public open source side and you've got the, and I found this very interesting, corporate validators or a governing council, governance council and uh, 33 members at the last count. Is that why you won the mandate from the Bank of Korea? Uh, that's part of it. Um, I think there's many aspects to it. Uh, you know, given the fact that we are uh, a part of the Kakao Group and backed by a cacao, um, I think that also played a big part in it. But to go back to the the hybrid um, public-private chain um, sort of setup that we have, we think that this is at the moment the right uh, way of configuring uh, validator nodes because you, you do gain a lot of trust with uh, large corporations who are uh, essentially uh, confirming your transactions on the network. Um, in previous uh, places that I've worked at before, uh, that were other uh, blockchain foundations. That was one of the biggest challenges when we spoke to central banks uh, was that they were concerned that if you had a public network of validators, uh, anyone can come on and be a validator. And so when transactions get broadcasted, it could get picked up by um, dubious validators around the world. So this eliminates that risk. It makes yes. central banks feel a lot more comfortable.